the Suzuki Swift 1.2 GL Desire, priced at 145,900 Rand, which is obviously at the very, very competitive end of the market. Unusual in that at this end of the range, it's a sedan, not a hatchback. There are not that many competitors around that offer this option. Very, very cheeky, unusual little rear end, a very pert. And the word cheeky sort of jumps to mind very often when you think about this. The name Desire also quite imaginative, quite different. At 145,900 Rand, very competitive money as well as far as I'm concerned, puts out 62 kilowatts, 115 newton meters of torque out of this little 1.2 liter engine. So it's certainly a very adequate town car, I'd say, in the respect of performance and items like that. Economy wise, absolutely unbelievable. Suzuki quote 5.2 liters per hundred, which obviously is the absolute ideal. In a week of very mixed town and open road driving, I'm averaging 5.9 liters. That's real world driving to me, absolutely exceptional. Coming inside this little car, at the price point, you get so many features that to me could even be surprising. You take a look at the multifunction steering wheel, which has your radio and sound system controls. It also has buttons for Bluetooth for your cell phone. Moving to the center dash, your system, which offers you radio. It has down at the bottom a USB port, as well as a 12 volt as well. So it has all of these items for you, the convenience items, even though this is a smaller car. It's amazing. On the dashboard, you do have, of course, ABS brakes and airbags. Let me just state that they are there. You've got your fuel consumption figure that you can read as well. So it is all there for you. Very, very convenient, very useful. And a lot of space as well, as far as I'm concerned. Air conditioning, by the way, I didn't mention, even at the price point, this car does have air conditioning. Taking a look, of course, in the back seat, and I've got the seat set now very, very far back. But take a look, there is still a fair amount of headroom in the back and enough headroom for my hat, which always becomes a factor as far as I'm concerned in every motor car that I do test. One last item sh to show you is, of course, boot space. You do have a remote release for the boot inside the car. Take a look at the size of this boot in a small sedan. Nice and deep, very regular shape, and it certainly gives you lots of boot space, which to me is a big surprise. Overall, a very pleasant surprise all round for a small motor car at the lower end of the price range.